Spain's constitutional court has suspended a session of the Catalan Parliament that was scheduled for Monday. Local leaders had been expected to declare Catalonia's unilateral independence from Spain at the meeting. Well, the ruling follows a legal challenge by the Catalan Socialist Party, which opposes secession. Uh, let's get the very latest from our correspondent, our Europe correspondent, Damien Grammaticus, uh, who's in Barcelona for us. And so there have been so many twists in this story. This is the latest, I suppose, that the court really upping the ante now. And maybe one of the questions is how will they enforce this? Well, you're absolutely right, Ben. Certainly an upping, a new step in this uh, confrontation. A very clear legal ruling, uh, it appears, coming from the Constitutional Court here in Spain. Uh, it's just come through in the last half an hour, 45 minutes, so we're, we're waiting for details. But it seems clear that what they have said is that that Monday session of the local parliament here uh, in Catalonia is banned uh, and cannot go ahead. Uh, now, this is interesting because it's a, a challenge that has been brought by the local socialist party here in Catalonia. It's not a challenge brought by the central government in Madrid. It's a separate thing, uh, but it has the effect uh, of preventing that parliamentary meeting going ahead. And uh, uh, that is the meeting at which the Catalan regional leaders who are pushing for this independence declaration had said that they want to formally notify the parliament here of the results of the referendum and that then triggers the possibility for them to make that unilateral declaration. And I suppose all through this crisis the fear is of, of violence or more violence. We saw that heavy-handed police crack down during the referendum and if the police were sent in to maybe barricade the parliament or something that that could bring about further violence. Well, this is the, uh, the, the sort of unknown in this whole equation. Because remember, what we had already in this uh, saga was the Constitutional Court ruling that the referendum here was in unconstitutional and, elite and illegal, but the local authorities went ahead and held that anyway in defiance of that Constitutional Court last weekend. Uh, so the question is now, will they again defy the constitutional court and seek to hold that meeting on Monday. Now, the Spanish government in Madrid has been very clear. It says that at every step, the local authorities here have been acting outside the law, threatening the unity of Spain by holding that referendum. Uh, and whether they seek to take the next step and defy the court again, we will see. Then the question, as you suggest, will be, if they do, how would the government respond? Would it seek to prevent that meeting from happening as we saw them seek to prevent the referendum from happening. But the Constitutional Court, uh, we understand, has been quite clear, saying that if the authorities here go ahead and try to hold their parliamentary meeting, there will be legal consequences for the leaders here in Catalonia. And uh, that could, I think, increase the temperature quite significantly in this standoff. All right, Damien, thanks for being with us. Damien Grammatica.